This is for the nerds, this is for the brainiacs, this is what we deserve. Go ahead and play it back, you ain't gonna touch me, you not gonna do nothing, you are not above me, I bet you wish you was me, I know what I know. What is poppin' everybody, and welcome back to another special episode of the Only Friends Podcast. Well, you know, I'm here with my only friends. And you know, we're in the Bahamas, baby! Guapo told me to keep it down. Jesus Sorry, Guapo. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, oh, we gotta get loud in here, Burke. Yeah, we're in the Bahamas, on, man. We're man. Are you excited? We're just getting here to get it popping, Got man. a lot of pent up uh, I was excited pent up aggression right now. Screaming. Jesus, you know, man. We the gotta mic- get shit popping, man. You know, we gotta start off right. You know, we gotta the start off in the does mood. all the work. You can, you can just keep it your inside. I mean, this is your inside voice. This, I, suppose, I was gonna but, say, what do you mean? What are you even talking about, Burke? I'm just, I'm just trying to keep, you know, this empty room, Conradless. Uh, every tournament I've played thus far, be it Florida or here, I could be a thousand yards away and hear that laugh cackling through. You've become the new Matt Stout. Congratulations. Congratulations, Conrad. <laughs> My laugh is way better than Stout. You are the new Matt Stout mm-hmm. and Team A. Uh, you're in a class all your own. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate anytime, that. Buddy, anytime. I appreciate it. We do have a uh, fun show here today from the Bahamas. As you can see, we're on site. We finally got it going. Uh, we are here. It took a lot of work. You know, we're on an island. Apparently, internet is uh, its uh, not an easy thing to acquire. So we had to get a hard line installed. Thank you. Big shout out to Baja Mar for taking care of that. And everybody at Poker Stars, we appreciate you. Yes. Uh, we're finally up and ready to go. We got a lot of things to cover today, including... Uh, a big article about GG poker and potential hacking. Uh, we saw a chop pot cost somebody tens of thousands of dollars. Everybody loves a chop pot. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please oh, not man. make that a thing? Wow. Man. <laughs> I desperately need that to not be a thing. Oh, I like Matt's it. Already I like it a lot. Matt's, yeah. Matt's ready to go home. Yeah, I, I want to make it... More of a thing now. When, when, they were, <laughs> when they were saying they weren't sure if we could get internet, I was like, thank Matt, God. Matt misses the dogs. <laughs> misses the dogs. Misses the couch. Misses the, the cold plunge and the he sauna. He said he misses the couch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, he just misses it all, you know. There's no such thing as the cold plunge out here. Get me out of here. Get me it, out Let's of just go, man. Let's just get Wake up. I, it's, it's 75 right. and humid. Oh, I love it here, man. I wake up. I get my sunshine, like mm-hmm. Huberman suggested, you know. I have my caffeine. Come. Who's Huberman? Oh, my. He's a, he's a neuroscientist. Uh. You should... You should pay attention to him a little bit more so he can tell you all the things you're doing wrong with your life. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Sounds like a waste of fucking time. Um, no, this place is popping. I'm glad. Uh, what do you guys... Have any of you been to PCA before? I have uh, not. First time. First wow. time. All first, first time. I this know. This is so fucking cool. It, it's like such a staple, such a spot to go if you're a poker player, but I just... It, I, it never worked out for me uh, to be here, but man. Yeah, I, it's actually my first Okay. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> have a Honestly, you, you really, you should have, you should, you could have really landed that, and you could have said it was your second year not mm-hmm. playing it because it's only the second time they ran. <laughs> That's not a rad joke. That's, That's a, dad a dad joke. joke. Um, okay, so you guys don't have any perspective. You've never been to Atlantis for no. this shit show. Uh, I love the Bahamar. <laughs> I just have to, no, no shade against Atlantis, but it's like. It's a family resort, and it is built to house a lot of kids Mm -hmm. that are there for water slides, and there are a lot of cool amenities, like, especially at night, because uh, nobody cares about anything, so you can just, like, break into the water slides. That was, like, PCA tradition for, like, a decade and a half, (laughs) was just getting on the water slides at night when there's no water running down it, tearing all your skin off, and, you know, having a good time had by all. Yep. Tearing your Michelle skin and I went there. A couple oh no, water on the. Oh my god, yeah. no, you we went there a fucking... couple days ago. Um, I definitely like Bahamar better. Uh, but you're right. Like we we're walking around. I'm like, where, where is everybody? Like, there's no like security. You could literally just walk right yeah. up to like the, the water slides. It's like I'm gonna take a dip right now. You it's... guys are absurd going down a water slide with no water. Like I'm just sitting here thinking about like the skirt, skirt, skirt. Like you just, just... <laughs> you just wear neoprene shorts, man. Yeah. You know? 
<laughs> Take spit a little bit if you have to. Oh, Come on, you know oh, how it works. That's man. so gross. Yeah. That's that's the number one rule of thumb. Spit a little if you have to. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, I uh, thought we'd be here. I thought you know, it'd be a different kind of vibe, different kind of nope. Same no, no. old podcast. Same, 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 same team. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll be joined by the one and only Landon Tice tomorrow. Nope. He's on his way in. He had a little bit of an issue with an ear, ear infection, caused vertigo, and he thought he was losing his mind a little, which I mean, to be I can understand. Vertigo is yeah. bad. It's, Never had it. I've had it. You oh. have? I get it whenever I get too close to a ledge. Uh, I, I, like the room just, I can't explain it. It's almost like, it's almost like your, um, nearsightedness and farsightedness, like reverse. Yeah. And just like the whole world just, just be, completely disoriented. Yeah, right? you're really disoriented. Yeah. And there's a, there's a, like for me, I was trying to explain it to Landon. I was like, yeah, whenever it happens to me, I have this like inner voice in my head. The one that's supposed to tell you, like, don't jump is kind of just like, what do you think? Yo, this is so <laughs> crazy. All right. So I was literally sitting on a balcony here yesterday and I was just like, I was talking to my friend. And I'm like, yo, I'm so, like, as I get older, I'm like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but it feels like I'm getting scared of heights. Recently on the ski jump, the ski lift where I absolutely lost it. I had a moment on the plane where I absolutely lost it. And then I was on the balcony and I was like thinking about like, all right, how would I fall off this thing? And like, I don't know. I felt kind of dizzy and stuff. And yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I didn't know what it was. It's like, actually a common thing. Yeah. Uh, I was reading about it a little bit more as it occurred to me more and more frequently. Because uh, the same thing happened to me the first time I took a ski lift. I was... I was like more like I was clinging to it <laughs> uh, not even because I thought like I was going to fall out but yeah. because like there's this like weird inner urge to just like look down and kind of like feel pulled towards it's it. so crazy wow. I don't get it well humans are born with two innate fears right fear of falling and fear of loud sounds yeah makes mm -hmm. sense yeah. So it's, Danger. It's common that yeah, people yeah. are scared of heights. And but it's like it's, I'm, I've sense. been skydiving before. Like heights don't bother me. Yeah, but like, it's different. It's me. different because you actually are falling. The thing that you're supposed to be afraid of, you're just doing. Right? Like there's no preventing it. Where the in the other mode, your your whole instinct is prevention. Yeah. Right. So like I'm I'm bad with like balconies with low edges or low uh, railing. Railing. Yeah freak me out not even like for me to be there if i see somebody off in the distance like leaning <laughs> against the railing my whole mind just like yeah. starts losing it it's just like we can't we can't we can't live this way guys like someone's gonna die my sister we went to the grand canyon uh we went to the the place that has like the glass floor i can't i think it's like the western door mm -hmm. uh so we went there and there are like these spots where you can walk up to the edge and literally like sit within the cannon walls and have your feet dangling over the edge Ugh. i was even just like talking about it right now i have anxiety <laughs> i mean that's something sweaty that, yeah, i would definitely yeah. have to do that but i would not i wouldn't feel good i wouldn't it, it, feel good at all <laughs> it's it's a bad bad thing man uh but speaking of landon he did make a deep run in the main event before uh being afflicted with mm -hmm. said ear infection ended up coming in 39th i 39th, believe that's correct very Jeez. unfortunate Run of events, his queens lose to ace nine suited for mm -hmm. honestly kind of piles. Yeah, 50, yeah, 50. big blind pot. Uh, ace nine suited just open rips 25. Unlucky, man. What? This is the type of shit that happens to me. I'm, I'm, I'm not glad it happened to him, but now he'll, he, you, yeah, he'll know the feeling, right? You, you, you develop a little bit of a callus. What were the positions for this cutoff button? What? I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but still, you know. Blind, it's blind, eight, I guess. Like, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it seems like saying. seems like 25 is just a wee bit too many chips. To that's be. a lot of big blinds with 20 with right 39 there. people left. I don't know. Yeah. But some like you know, Facts. sometimes if you're just not that great at poker, you just have to just rip what it you, in. And what win. are you What are you saying, Tortoise? Yeah, what, what I'm saying? saying is is that you know, Tortoise, you know this guy won, right? If you're just right? outmatched. If you're just outmatched, sometimes you just have to pile it in and hope to win. You that's how a, that's how bad players win tournaments. You throwing a little shade at uh, the man who busted Landon Tice? I I have no idea who he is, but <laughs> so I mean, if a, he's you know, where are you, where are you going with this, Brian? You're digging yourself a bit of a hole here, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, not helping. I'm just saying. There's like an 18 percent chance he final table. It this sounds thing. like he's a little bit of a gambler. Are you saying heads up for rolls, Brian? Is that I, what I think you're throwing down the gauntlet? What I'm saying is, if this man is a Inferior player to Landon, then he did the right thing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, all right wait, wait to spit it, Tortoise. Well, Talk to. What, what does the Tortoise do with Ace Nine suited? Uh, Ace Nine. Okay, Twenty-five well, big blinds. He opened from cut. Cut off. I'm on the button. What, no, no, no. no so he, he just he mid opens. No, the the cutoff open rip twenty-five. Yeah. Oh, he opened rip twenty-five. Uh I. Twenty-five blinds. I I just. You just I min. just yeah yeah two X. 
I can't believe you missed the opportunity to say fold. <laughs> I know, you, you really fucked that Come up. On, like, Brian. nobody yeah, really I, asked you what you were on, doing. Brian, we, this is a Strat we Chat wanna, Tuesday. We want to know what Tor2 was doing. This is Strat what Chat Tuesday. Uh, fold. Yeah, I put fold. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. I was just trying to, you know. Limping his pimpin', baby. Yeah, make, make it look like I'm not such a tortoise. Apologies if you Apologies. guys are catching a little of the background noise. They are setting up the live stream uh, on the stage right to our left. Mm -hmm. So there will be a little bit of background noise. But hey, that's what happens when you're a traveling pod. You know? You know, you get, you get this shit popping a little bit. Uh, I want to get into our lead story here a little bit earlier just to make sure that we have time because we do have a hard out at 11.40 uh, oh. East Coast time. So that would be, you know, a whopping 8.40 West Coast for all you early risers out there we appreciate the love and support um an article released yesterday uh from i want to give a shout out to robbie at card player as he was the one who broke right. this story uh it seems like he did a lot of due diligence and research on it uh but this article came out basically to be fair the title was a little bit eye grabbing <laughs> uh say the least. as is ours you know, it, to, it's the internet, man. Like, we do what we do to get people in the, in the door. Uh, so, basically, the, the title was something along the effect of, like, GG Hack displays uh, opponent's whole cards, or something along those lines. Um, after digging into the article and speaking with some people in uh, the, the, the tech industry, as well as the two experts that were interviewed for this article, um, what the ultimate takeaway is, the, the TLDR... Uh, is simply that there was a I don't want to say oversight because they knew about it uh, there was a choice made to kind of cut corners a little bit when it comes to encrypting uh, the messaging between the server and the client and what that meant was that in, an, in like a one off scenario if somebody was trying to hack GG servers mm -hmm. on your network they could theoretically see your cards. So if you're on the same Wi-Fi connection as a hacker, you're in trouble. Same, same Wi-Fi connection or same cloud? Because there's a difference, right? Because um, like, I could be here and you could be five kilometers away and I could hack the cloud that we're both connected to. And I would still be, would I still be able to see your whole cards or does it need to be the same Wi-Fi? From reading the article. Yeah, no cloud. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know that they would even be utilizing uh, unless you're talking about like the server memory, the, the, but, ser yeah, yeah. the server cloud. It, it's it's all at the client level. You, so you most likely all... have to be on a public Wi-Fi. Not most likely, uh, 100 percent. 100 percent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Unless they had your password to your, to right. your well, own, or if you know somebody in your house. In your house, yeah, right? Exactly. Say, like or, that's happened before, right. man. Yeah. Or yeah. if true. you're in the Baja Mar and you're playing in your so, hotel room. So yeah. that <laughs> that actually, uh, ironically, we could have done a Throwback Thursday on this. Um, that actually happened. Yeah. At stars. PCA, no way. In 2010 or 11, I yeah. believe, um, somebody down here was. I think I, I, I'm hesitant to say names because I'm not perfect in my I recollection, but names. I think it was Matt Marafiotti. Mm. Okay. Uh, was RIP uh, was a part of this and was basically challenging people to play heads up, but going into the room and installing Trojans to their computers. Mm? So he was wow. getting like perfect information while playing them heads up and just fleeced like numerous people i i'm almost positive jason coon's laptop got stolen out of his room was it jay i think oh see now yeah. i don't want to say a name that i'm not 100% don't, yeah sure, but I'm not well if they're the victim it doesn't matter but if, yeah yeah if it's somebody that were there were some big names that had their laptop for sure stolen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah there were a bunch that had their laptop stolen i i thought jason was one of them but i could be wrong uh that part doesn't really matter right but basically like a bunch of laptops were getting stolen and then returned and uh, they, they were later found out to have malware on them, which was yeah. allowing uh, them to get like fleeced in a heads up scenario. That's so absurd. Do, you, do we know how they got stolen? Like, uh, lack, lack security. Yeah. Um, you know, also back then you have to understand like, you know, our community's aged a lot as far as like people have been in the game as professionals for a long time. Mm -hmm. But back then we were all 26, 25, 20. I, I mean, I was the elder statesman at like 28. You know what I mean? So it was a it was a very much uh, collected community of regular players who frequented all. The, we all traveled all the stops. Yeah. You know, so it was like uh, a few hundred players that are playing high stakes online, as well as all of the live birds, and they're all traveling together. They're all intermingling, smoking up in each other's rooms, like doing all that shit. Yeah. 
and getting access to somebody's laptop it's not that hard tough, but, yeah okay um i'm sure two plus two has better recollection of this than i do if we want to like parse through the threads and i should have been more prepared to make this more of a throwback thursday i just completely forgot about that until uh no. we kind of yeah. mentioned it but yeah so anyway going back to the gg article uh i want to make it clear that like they weren't actually hacked uh it was a white hat hacker who was basically testing the thresholds of their security and found this little bit of an oversight gg responded and basically said like look we knew about it uh it was a corner we chose to cut because we had to choose the lesser of two evils uh with regard to uh how much bandwidth it would take to secure this so basically they said that they left this security measure off in order for people with bad connections to not buffer uh, and not suffer the consequence mm -hmm. of like timing out or mm. being disconnected, whatever the case may be. Uh, but that it was a known oversight and that the only way uh, anybody could take advantage of it is being on the same network. Now, to the point of the article, if you're in a college dorm or you're in a hotel like the Baja Mar where there is a lot of potential other poker players, yeah. this vulnerability becomes a huge problem. From what I gather, um, also they... Like, uh, GG wouldn't be aware if, if someone did get hacked, right? Correct. Right? So, like, this could have happened. We don't right, know. Right, because it happens on the client side. Right, right. So, so th this could have, somebody could have actually uh, been cheated and nobody would ever know. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but it, it's unlikely. It's, it's very unlikely, unlikely. but it, it, it's very yeah, unlikely. It uh, they did take corrective action um, from what Rob was saying in the article. He reached out to GG immediately, made them aware of the situation, asked them for comment, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, within that two week time frame that it took for him to write the article, Gigi had already corrected it. So I have a question. So if they chose not to do it at first, right? How do they, because they chose the lesser of two evils, mm -hmm. how are they able to go back and correct it? Well, just change it, the code. The, the people with the slow buff or the poor connections are just going to suffer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Understood. Mm -hmm. you know, they couldn't. Uh, they couldn't get yeah. the best of that. Uh, okay. They they may have come up with a remedy. I don't know, but. Um, you know, security is more important. And yeah, the fact, no, the fact now that it's very public on this this breach, yeah. they have to they have to correct it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Dude, there there are some roommates out there like eyeballing each other now. Like, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Hey, we man. were playing the same six yeah. max table, <laughs> and you kept calling me with Jack Four. <laughs> All right, and you were good. Uh, like, hang on a minute, what's going on? <laughs> oh, by the way, you said shout out to Robbie, so I wanted to give her a sh fuck you, Berkey. What did I do? <laughs> like, it fuck didn't. Me, he didn't mean that, Robbie. You know, oh, wrong, Robbie. Uh, Robbie sorry. Straczynski yeah. from Card Player, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What did I ever do, man? I, what did I ever do? Honestly, you you opened up your arms and your front door. Yeah, uh, that's the problem. Poor guy. I let these guys in my home. <laughs> poor guy. Like, yeah. You know, fucked up. I messed up. <laughs> I like Robbie. I don't know why she's so mad at me. Fuck you, Berkey. Uh, where is she? Is she here? She coming to play the 25k? Oh, maybe uh, the 100. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe the the trying 5k, to, 10k. No limit. Hold him cash. She's trying. She's she's actually the only one on the list right now. She's trying to get a game started. <laughs> Tortilla. Christ, man. It doesn't uh, get better than this. We are in the Bahamas, boys. Man. I just want to be clear. We're just I'm not getting out of here. Like, let it, yeah, let it go. Yeah. I'm just... Uh, it's, it's funny because you're still going to get the... Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to come back like... 100%. We need to tell as much shit as we you, want. Yeah. And it's going to be like, you know, fuck you, Berkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that is you could say you could be like, I think it's 99% chance she didn't cheat. She'd be like, 1%? Fuck you, Berkey. Like she was saying, she was saying she wasn't even mad that people think that she potentially cheated. Like her and Doug are apparently good, and Doug says ninety six percent likely. But she was mad that uh, that I was somehow bullying her. Like I stopped talking about her after like day three. Yeah. If, and I, if I bullied anybody, it was Hustler because their security was fucking trash. Yeah, not for nothing. We actually didn't even really use her name. Like we kind of just like no, but I used her image a lot, which sure. to be fair, like you can't, I, can, I get not? why she would be upset about that, but like who wasn't using her image at that yeah. point? How yeah. can you not? And like we, but I think we kind of like moved on to the security and like almost the, instantly and the hustle. Like, was, we didn't mention her that much at all. It was like Christian, the first two days. Christian and I did uh, a late night pod where we went through like all the hands, and we saw like some things that were a, a little bit off, but mm -hmm. weren't. Um, you know, like weren't smoking guns by any stretch. Yeah. It wasn't the possible scenario. Yeah. So after that, it was just kind of like, look, man, we can both agree that this hand is really fucking weird. And, uh, you know, I believe Garrett's instincts <laughs> whenever he felt like in the moment that he was cheated. Yeah. But at the same token, 
uh, we certainly don't have anything here. Like, we're not going to be the ones to discover it. Let the internet do its thing, mm -hmm. and we'll just keep updating as more stuff breaks, rather than trying to be the investigative reporters that, you know, dig up all the dirt or whatever. So, immediately, I was like, well, what is clear is that we have a security problem. Yeah, we were right? just trying to lead a productive conversation. Right, so it's like, everybody's watching, and we have a chance to actually make an impart real change here mm -hmm. so let's talk about the thing that is the real elephant in the room and that that that's that these people were gambling for seven figures on an uh unsecure stream right and guess what that got fucking fixed mm -hmm. that's a good thing yeah like that's a really good thing people forget like everybody like you know uh i i played with sergi the other day and he's super upset that <laughs> Jesus we were Christ, <laughs> why are you laughing i, I think it's reasonable that he's upset uh, but he's like very upset that you know we spoke about him alongside the Bryn thing and everything else. But it's like we weren't we weren't finger pointing or making anything up. We were just saying the same things that Poker News was saying that all the other media outlets were, that they're not upset with. And it's because we're five days a week, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And we're peers. Yeah. So it's like I'm out there in the in the arena, and you know that sucks if uh, if if like people will feel a certain way. But let's not forget. Ali and Jake are not playing anywhere right now, mm. aside from their 10 multi accounts on ACR. But like, <laughs> you know, stay out of the Sunday 600, kids. Like, what, what else can I tell you? Uh, yeah. But it's like they're banned from literally every fucking live stop across the world right now. Yep. Right. Great. Hustler completely revamped their security, mm -hmm. right? All of these entities hate us, but like, f who cares? Yeah. Like, the greater good has been served as right. far as I'm concerned. Mm hmm. And, you know, unfortunately... Or the sacrificial like, lamb at the altar, Bert. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> big shout out to big zoos out there who doesn't know what the word altar means. <laughs> we appreciate you, my man. Uh, um, but yeah, I, getting back to the GG thing, I think the bigger conversation that can be had here is uh, not so much that there was this vulnerability as it was very mild and unlikely to be uh, taken advantage of. I think the bigger conversation at hand here is the power of stress testing your system through these white hackers, uh, white hat hackers. And we, we spoke about this maybe a year ago, uh, right as the Ali stuff was starting to break, uh, so slightly less than a year ago. But um, this notion uh, in, in the poker space specifically, when we're talking about live streams, when we're talking about online poker, uh, we are like one of the only technologically advanced industries that I know of where we don't have people who are cyber gurus stress testing things right. sorry a white hat, hat hacker is like a bounty hacker so no. like if they find something like a white knight yeah I mean, someone that hacks for good yes, yeah yeah exactly they right. hack to, to find them. the vulnerability most tech companies hire them mm -hmm. what's the difference between that and a bounty hacker like, i don't know what a bounty hacker i uh, i thought there was like something like you can basically like if you find I know what a bounty hunter is Dog. I, I used to be a yeah. bounty hunter. It, you, you're a bounty. <laughs> How could you be right. a bounty hunter? This, happen, this happens in crypto a lot, right? Like, so they, they they'll have people go out and they'll be like, try to find the vulnerabilities in our protocol, and if you do, tell us, and we'll pay you. For that, it. That's yeah. what, that's right. what, okay. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, regardless of how they compensate them, whether they put them on salary or they just put up a reward, mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes, uh, you know, this type of stress testing is absolutely critical to launching new tech. And I understand that poker doesn't see itself as a tech space, but we very much are and we're moving even harder into that direction, yeah. right? So another great example is a lot of these solving tools that come out. Uh, Odin comes to example, or comes to mind, where they're not doing anything to stress test that I'm aware of as far as like how these, these, um, these tools can be used for bad, right? To, to use to cheat. And within- like RTA? Yeah. yeah. And within like three months of launch, there was a massive outbreak where people were saying like, look, the response time of Odin is too fast mm -hmm. and people can certainly use it in game with how long time banks are. And the response was, you know, we understand we're going to work on it. Uh, I haven't used the product recently, so I don't know if they've increased uh, the lag time in between solves or not, but I know for at least some period of time that was an issue. And uh, there are more uh, products like that cropping up. Ruse is now an AI based solver that um, you know, we're, we're gonna be working with in the near future, they, uh, their response time can be as low as four seconds. Yeah. Wow. They've put, a, um, they, they've put a, a buffer on there that I believe, I don't wanna misstate, it's some amount of time. Yeah. It seems like it's enough. I believe they're also creating a, um, an, open, uh, an open database 
to cross check what has been solved to ensure that like timestamps don't align where uh you know you're in a game at x Somebody's time in an exact hand that's, Correct. Us, that's cool. happening at the exact time yeah, uh, yeah i think that these are like bare minimum mandatory mm -hmm. things yeah. that should be implemented whenever you are in a technological space and again when we break poker down to its core especially in the online arena it is a massive data center with very sensitive information where that data is absolutely priceless right so protecting it at all costs as well as the back end of that data which is developing strategies mm -hmm. uh it, it becomes imperative that we have not only good actors but that we have other people ancillary to them who are willing to put them to the test so huge shout out uh my apologies i don't remember the the names of the uh the white hat yeah the white hat hackers uh, but huge shout out to them for even considering doing this mm -hmm. or discovering, you know, these insecurities because the, the fact of the matter is no one else is doing this work. We have no idea. We, we just implicitly trust these big businesses because they're big businesses, right? right? So uh, it's a little bit problematic when we just blindly show up to Gigi's door and hand them the money and say, like, protect me. Yeah. Like, how, you know, how long do you think like a process like that takes for a white hat hacker? Um, you know, I don't know enough about hacking. It's it's not anything I ever really got into. Yeah. Uh, but I imagine somebody who's pretty good. I, I have an idea of like how the coding goes. So I imagine somebody who's like pretty good. Under a hundred hours, for for something is like I don't want to say simple, but for something is uh, surface level is like what he did. Yeah. Now, if he's trying to like hack into the actual servers, right, like gonna take it, he might not even be able to. Gotcha. You know, d depends on his level of expertise and like how secure their servers are. Uh, and even if he did, it's almost certain to alert it. But like, yeah, there's kids that like try to hack into the CIA. No, of course. I mean, it's like it's you know, it's a game. Um, Literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like well, like the first thing I learned in computer programming is every good programmer builds a backdoor, uh, and effectively what that is is just a method yeah. where they can always have access even if it's overtaken yeah uh but those back doors are you know theoretically discoverable yeah and if that becomes the case then your your system becomes a little bit vulnerable so uh it, it, it's definitely just one of those things where uh, i think this is again leaning us towards uh understanding better that we need to take this entire community more seriously from a tech level and not just show up to these live streams with hundreds of thousands of dollars and just trust that they are doing right by us we need to do our due diligence. We need to, you know, hold their feet to the fire and say like, okay, I know you're using Poker GFX as your software. Why do I still have to scan my cards before the end of the hand? Yeah. I know then that you have not uh, opted into the new, to the new methodology that's just trustless, right? Yeah. Why? That doesn't seem like it benefits me as the consumer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like it benefits you as the stream house. Like all it does is lead to doubt and uh, puts whoever's running the show at the sacrificial altar. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> I don't, I don't see how anybody could ever play at a place that is using G GFX and has not clicked that button yet. Uh, it seems I, like a big problem to me. It's fucking absurd that anybody. But the simple play. answer is, the game's good, man. They just nobody cares. It's no, just everybody. nobody fucking cares. Well, yeah. It's absurd. How many home games have you played that are cheated? Plenty, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're. Let me tell you something. Yeah. You're nobody. But, but like. Everybody's arrogant. Everyone thinks that they can beat the the the, the negative the negative tax. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like it's always a a, mm -hmm. a a cost um a cost benefit analysis, and everybody just always arrives at my edge is so big that the cost of this thing that is taking away EV mm -hmm. is not so great that I can't yeah. win. When they like, I, I, when they, like mean, start raking like twenty five thirty percent out of the pot, right? Uh, like, you're like, uh, I can beat this game because it's that good. All right. right. All right. Yeah. So from a host so game hard. perspective, yes. But from a live stream perspective, you're getting cheated no. and raked to death. <laughs> it's true. But at least you that know you can't beat. But from a live stream perspective, it's like okay, why am I playing? Because here? the games are really good. The same reason you play the home game. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. It's it, if. If There's a the, chance somebody's getting perfect information. Yeah, of course, man. Don't tell me. Right. Like what, what <laughs> and and the, you know they can click a button to make this all stop, trustless, and nobody needs to worry about anything. You're, you're but also, that button is yeah, not right. Clicked. But like nobody like not just anybody has access to Poker Go. Not just anybody has access to uh you know, I'm trying to think of like the like anybody anything share hands runs, the WPT games, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you start to look at this next tier. 
and the tier below that, and then the tier below that. And those tiers are obviously going to be setting themselves up in a more cost efficient way, which means more shortcuts. And, you know, for whatever reason they choose to not implement the new, uh, the new layer of securities that's coming out, whether it's inconvenient to their production or it's costly because they now have to execute some other sort of protocol, whatever the case may be, it's always going to be because of uh, money, right? It's always going to be because of bottom line. The top tier streams, the WPTs, the WSOPs, the Poker Goes, uh, the Tritons, yeah, et cetera. <laughs> like, all of that, they're going to be fully secure because they're regulated and they're being operated by a massive corporation that isn't going to, it, like, is harmed way more by, uh, by having a scandal. Yeah, if something goes wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. But, uh, yeah, I mean, at the same time, I just wish us players would be a little smarter and only play places that click the button. I mean, yeah. to be fair, if, if everybody was a little bit smarter, the game would cease to exist. All right, not a little bit smarter. <laughs> just play somewhere that, you know, they can't cheat you. Yeah. You know, like, you know, not too much smarter, just a little, like 5%. I, I don't even think that. Just, like, just respond to new information, you know? Yeah, okay. It's just like any science. As the information changes, you just need to be willing to adapt rather than being hard-headed and saying, like, no, like, I'm friends with these guys. They would never do that type of thing. It's like... Let me tell you, that's the first fucking person that's gonna do it. There's a dollar. When the wool is over it. your eyes, mm -hmm. you are a mark. Like that's that's the nature of this game. True. Uh, some other wild shit happened. Yep. I don't know. If you say everybody likes to chop pot. I don't. I don't think that's true. <laughs> this poor actually, guy. everybody would have loved to chop pot. Well, two no. people would have loved to chop pot. I, one, one person, person would have loved to chop pot. Yeah, yeah. One person was like this. Mm hmm. Keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> and so. There's, there's a lot to discuss here. Uh, <laughs> to catch everybody up, this was a WSOP circuit event in Rosgadov uh, at King's Casino. Rosgadov. What did I say? Rosgadov. What did you say? Rosgadov. It's a V, not a G. Yes. Okay, thank you for the clarification. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys said the same thing. Honestly. So did I. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's why I had to ask multiple times. Yo, I walked into the living room yesterday, and he was speaking, uh, what is it, Bulgarian? Yeah. Just full fluid, but it, it felt like I walked into a mob movie. <laughs> that's <laughs> like how, that's how it English, should feel, bro. Yeah, to see like an Englishman like speaking Bulgarian, it's just like this is very jarring. Oh yeah, like I was just ordering some shipments to the island, you know. Uh, you were, it sounded like someone was getting killed, <laughs> for sure. Ordering something. Uh, okay, so this is at the final table. Uh, there was an all-in by the nine seat. He was called in the big blind by the four seat. So. Um, Ace Queen six, they get it all in. Jack ten versus King Jack, both have a gut shot. Turn. Gonna run the yeah, yeah. Actually, run the clip. Run the clip. Uh, and we can talk over it because it's in German, so we don't have to worry about uh, screwing up the announcers. But um, so what ends up happening is uh, comes Ace Queen six, Jack six, which means that they have jacks and sixes with an ace kicker. Correct. Mm. Uh, this is a very easy one to miss for what it's worth. Mm -hmm. uh, I could see how this would get looked over, mm -hmm. especially like in a high pressure situation like this. Uh, the dealer missed it. We don't know if the table mates missed it or not. We know the so, guy that lost, we know the, the, guy hand who lost the hand missed, missed it. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we know that he missed it and we know the dealer missed it. That's it. Everything else is speculation. Yes. So what ends up happening is uh, the man with Jack 10 <gasps> thinks that he's out kicked with the king. Uh, accepts his defeat and walks off. Mm -hmm. Now, the technical rule here is that once the next hand is dealt and action has been taken, it's too late to correct. Can't go right. back. Right. I disagree with that personally. With the rule itself. Uh, in this particular situation, yes. Uh, I, you know, every rule should have exceptions, and I believe this is one. Mm -hmm. If it's a um, cash game and it's like, a little different, maybe. No, no. Uh, anything where a player has been... Uh, well, in a cash game, they would fix this. Yeah. Yes, you're right. In right. a cash right. game, they, they would just... Right, cameras. they just give they him They would give him his yeah. refund. Right, yeah. you're right. And that's the problem here, yeah. is that they're unwilling to fix it because it's a tournament, mm -hmm. and I think that that's problematic. So I don't care if it's noticed 10 hands later. Just go back to the tape, reverse the 10 hands of action, and fix this. So what you would do is, if it is 10 hands later, you go back, you look exactly what the chips would have been 
right after that yep. hand, and then you just start play from there. Yep. Everything that happened in those ten hands doesn't count. Don't care. Do you know what that means though? And it's super easy it to do. Because it never would have happened anyways. But that right. means that right. they're accepting responsibility for it. Because they, like they're going. They should. I, they should, but that's mm -hmm. never gonna happen. They should. This is a cop out. So, uh, Frederick uh, Brunato, I'm sure I butchered that. Uh, Close enough. Who I think is the TD, put out a response. Um, and I gotta tell you, it's a very tone deaf one in my opinion, uh, especially for the, the events that occurred. So his, his opening statement is, I'm glad to have had this documented on the live stream. It's, it's something that happens very often during games and is not talked about much. It's like, first of all, well, it, doesn't they they scrub, all. it doesn't happen that often. <laughs> Second of all, they scrubbed the internet of all the footage. They literally deleted the live stream. Yeah. So it's like, I, I don't want to, you know, let's, let's call a spade a spade here, man. Like you guys were trying to make this go away. Apparently mm -hmm. the mods were like, uh, were, were banning people. anybody in the chat that was saying it was a chopped pot. Yeah. Right. So it's like, which this is, which is really, yeah. I mean, this is insane. Stuff. They're like it's trying to cover strong. it up in real time, which means that people absolutely knew and they could have made, they could have taken corrective action. You know mm -hmm. what I have an issue with? It's a final table, right? Have you ever been at a final table where the, a televised one at that? where the TD wasn't, like, the floor wasn't standing Present. right there hawking the table. Yeah, so that's, like, that's it's not so how it wild. Works. It's not how it works at King. So, okay. uh, so WSAP Circuit is sold as, like, a brand outside of the U.S. Yeah, they just, like, uh, to everybody. So Any circuit event you see, it's just WSAP licensing their name. Yeah. So, they actually have no oversight. So, so it's, not, have... it's not going to be Federico Brunato, who is the TD of Kings. They actually have people from WSAP. I believe it's Andy Tillman that overlooks the WSOP circuits, especially the main event. The craziest thing about this whole story that nobody's really touched on, in my opinion, is the way that the production works. So the software that these guys use, uh, as with any software, whether it be Sharehands, uh, Hustler, Pokestars, whatever, is the producers backstage would have had to manually eliminate the guy because the, oh, soft you're the, right. the software would have said chop, which it did <laughs> on stream. The software oh, says chop. Mm -hmm. So they would have had to manually pull this guy Listen. out of the tournament, delete right. his chips, mm -hmm. put his chips into the other guy's stack, <laughs> and eliminate him from the tournament. That's the craziest fucking part, because they have access to the dealer's headset. Right. Oh my god. They're the ones that uh, are it's telling funny the dealer, said, I never deal even... the turn, yeah. deal the river, mm -hmm. next hand, everything. So the person upstairs has frozen. This classic fight or flight or fucking freeze situation where he's realized what's happened, but he's just panicked and like, is this my place to say anything or tell anyone or like what's Even going worse, on? Even worse, they can't go on to the next hand until he corrects it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, right. he has, to has to stop. physically type in the fucking software. Yeah, yeah, and eliminate no, we this know. Guy. Yeah, have, I mean, I, the run exact the same setup, I run so the graphics for the, for yeah, the academy. That's the craziest this is exactly what part. you'd have to do. I want to go right, back yes. and look at the video and see if like there's like a pause. Well, there had to be. There just absolutely had to be. Yeah, There's there no be. way they can yeah. start the next hand until the until chip stacks are corrected. It's yeah. impossible with the software. Mm -hmm. That physically is impossible. Which is now shit. like now that makes this statement so much worse. Right. Dog so shit. much worse. Mm -hmm. His statement goes on to read uh, about like how well trained the dealers are, and that this was just an oversight by Sonia, who'd been there for six years. Like, yeah, completely agree. Like, people are gonna miss this. There's mm -hmm. a human element. Fine. Um, when it comes to the standard of our screams, we do the maximum to ensure the highest possible level accordingly. And Sonia has been a consistent member of our TB crew since uh, she first stepped on the team. Great. I don't blame Sonia. I, like, she's going to make errors. It's completely fine. Yeah. Um, when it comes to hand number 35 on the final day of the WSOPC main event, uh, Mr. Pierre Court was eliminated and cashed for stunning. Bro, this is no way. unbearable, man. <laughs> a stunning fifty-eight thousand, including a WSOP main event ticket. Don't try to, yeah. don't try to make this better. The guy was just robbed of yeah. like, you know, five <laughs> figures in EV, maybe more. Uh, I would like to refer to one of the most important rules of poker: always read your hand. Oh my god, that's not the rule. Yeah, no, that's, that's not. not the rule. No. The rule you, of poker is you turn your hand over. The rule and of the poker dealer, is right, yes. your hand speaks correct when yep. it's tabled. Correct, exactly. That's the mm -hmm. rule. Like this is complete. This is, and this utter is the rule that bullshit. we used to play in your grandma's uh, attic. Yeah, right. Ignorance like, is punished. Right, exactly. And that's not how this happened. It is uh, when when I was a kid, I turned over sevens full on uh, seven ace ace six. 
three board or something like that, mm -hmm. and Skimpy turned over Ace Jack, and I thought I lost. Right. Yeah. And you guys just let me think that. Yeah. And I went you to did bed tell mad. Us about a thousand times. Too. Yeah, you're right. 100%. <laughs> and we finally got you, and then we didn't. Nobody even realized. Remember, we didn't even realize until you guys like, came back hours later yeah. to right. tell me. <laughs> yeah, we went. We went to like get breakfast. We went to get breakfast at like 4 a.m. and we're like, holy shit. Berkey actually won that hand. And we're like, we have to go back and tell him. And we get, we're like, we're so happy we get back to that. And you're like, yeah, I already know. I was like sitting up in bed, <laughs> angry. This I was is like, the most I know. Story so I've ever bad. heard. I know. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this statement goes on to say the most important rules of poker: always read your hand, which is nonsense. He didn't muck it face down. That's absolutely ridiculous. That is such mm -hmm. dog shit. Uh, we're all humans and can make mistakes. Sonia is no exception. Of course, that's true. Uh, Da, 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 da. More bullshit, more bullshit, more bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the this only is... mistake here was this tweet. Bad. I gotta tell you, this is why I, this is why I make no friends because, like, when people are wrong, like, it's so hard to just not call out this corporate bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just it's classic kings. It's like you're wrong and then you try to spin the shit. Get the yeah. fuck out of here with the spin. Mm -hmm. The hand was supposed to be split, and we can now only guess as to how it would turn out. The main event path for Pierre. Perhaps he would now be crowned a champion with a golden ring. Perhaps he would be eliminated the next hand. Wow. At the end of the day, I would like to refer to rule number 76 <laughs> of WSOP, which states the right to dispute a hand when a new hand begins. This applies not only to WSOP, but also nearly all regular poker games that are played. Uh, to take from this, I strongly advise poker community to not, criti not criticize other people's mistakes and not try to find guilt. Instead, learn from this, know your rights, and follow your game every single... Bro. Wait, wait, hold on. He 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 gave advice at the end of this? Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> this is the most pompous, arrogant statement I've ever read in my life, and it's wrong. It's it's yeah. dog shit. It's blatantly wrong, and it's a complete and utter cover-up for the incompetence of whoever was running the graphics in the back room, or it's a cover-up for a clear... I mean, there's no way this could have been planned. No, 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 no of course no, not. Uh, but, like... Uh, maybe they have a protocol of like if somebody like you know fuck this guy if he doesn't say anything like just move mm. on i don't know no. i'm speculating obviously at this point but it's very clear that what henry said and what brian confirmed is that there is no way you can move on to the next hand mm -mm. until the person running the graphics right. yep. changes it to reflect that a chopped pot went unfairly to another person right. you would hit you would hit end hand right and it yeah. would just pop up as and you would see that he's still in the tournament. Correct. He still has chips. The other guy doesn't have more chips than he had. You like you would just see it right there. And you have to delete those. And you right. can see you right. can see it in the clip mm -hmm. also that yeah. the graphics split the pot. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you, that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. it splits the pot, so he has right. to manually do it. So yeah. you delete those chips from this person, and then you have to type it in the manually. Mm -hmm. Manually. Yeah. You had to do math. Right. <laughs> you might yeah. even have to. You have to. You might even have to adjust the. I don't, I'm. I don't know where their positions were, but you have to adjust the, the blinds. Button, the, the blinds, blinds right? Because right. if he was the, if he, he was wasn't. like going to be was, the big he, blind. No, he was the cutoff, the, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. There, there could have been an instance if mm -hmm. it had been there. If their hands would have been in, in the inverse, right? Then yeah, yeah. Um, and as for like the moderators deleting everything, like I, I think I spoke to you before when I did like the WSOP Europe. I, I remember speaking to some people, uh, and with an exception of Jimmy Bluffett, who I think does like modding for a lot of poker. Um, Shout out to stream. Jimmy Bluffett. Shout out yes. to Jimmy. In the He's right honestly a great, like, great mod. Mm -hmm. But the reason I brought Jimmy in in the first place is because when I first started doing it, the mods were so power hungry. Like, every, I would literally try and tune into the chat, and they would just be banning people left, right, and center for like having like banter with me. And I was like having to text them and say, "Hey, like, leave these people alone, man." So it doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, that people were just getting like timed out because the the, pa the the power of being a mod on that channel has completely gone to their head. It's, mm -hmm. it's unbearable. Yeah, and we have no recourse. We have no recourse. This Stop playing guy. the kings. Like that. This is this is the most obnoxious thing that I find in uh, in the poker industry is that when bad things happen from the most powerful people or entities within the space. The response to the community is, it's capitalism. Stop giving them your money. And it's like, well, what you're really saying to some degree is stop working in this industry. Yeah. yeah. Because everybody's going to do something bad to some degree at some point. And there's only so many times you can cut off to your nose to spite your face through a protest. Mm -hmm. Right? And when your peers don't follow suit because they recognize how they're making their money and what pays the bills, everything goes unchecked. It just continues to go unchecked. 
I hope to see... Uh, I mean, look. The, the integrity board that GG put together, I don't know what actions they're taking uh, collectively throughout the community, but I know that they had heavy-handed influence on the Jake and Ali band. So we've, we've done good yeah. with this committee. Uh, I think that it's starting to take strides. I hope to see it start to police some more of these smaller situations. The other side. Yeah, like, because, like, this guy deserves his ICM payout. Absolutely. Yeah. Fucking mm -hmm. Period. He absolutely deserves his ICM payout. And yeah. King should be on the hook for that. Mm -hmm. it's it's after what Brian and never Henry happen, said, no. King should 150% be. Like, yeah. like, before that, like, it was like, okay, like, it's, it's uh, definitely... You could see how it would be annoying, and you could refer to that rule where the next hand, once it starts, like, yeah. In absolutely. this instance, though, the next hand cannot start. Nope. It just cannot start nope. without somebody doing something stupid. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, or... The, the, here, here, here is um, a little bit of a problem is that the um the person who's doing the graphics does not have cannot have well it should not have any outside communication they can't it, without is, without without just radio, getting out he has a radio to the dealer. dealer right no no the, no no the dealer has a radio to him he can't con he can't Ryan, uh, the problem i'm telling you now yeah, he has, has a radio to the dealer yeah, he has he's to. telling them put out the turn right put out the river Right. Really? Yeah. 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 Or seat three didn't read his hand. Yeah, it's back and forth. Yeah, one hundred percent. They just have mm -hmm. no communicate. They have no. Um, but it doesn't matter. The, yeah. the the graphics doesn't get whole cards, so it doesn't matter if that person is communicating. Yeah. The, gra the graphics no, doesn't have whole. Does not get whole cards. It's trustless. Oh right. They yeah, click yeah. the button, you know. Right. So, even so, even if they don't, right, right. even if they don't click the button. No, I know. The graphic, yeah, I know. The person right. in graphics doesn't see cards. Okay. That's only on the server side. Okay. Okay. Wait, what? The person that does graphics doesn't what? See cards. It just sees if cards were red or not. It comes up blue, oh, yeah. blue or red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not true. Not like the, kings. Their software, the person typing in bet sizes can see cards. I, I mean, I've been in the the back room before. Like, you can see the whole cards in real time. So there's two different. Monitors. Oh, I'm not saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that they don't have access to see cards. I'm right. just saying, like, with the software that they're running, it won't be on their display. Like, maybe they're set up similar to yeah, the way. Yeah. You or well, usually, usually. When you're on streams, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the the person doing graphics is also in the peak room. It usually shouldn't be. I mean, yeah. it's an easy fix to not be, mm -hmm. so that they don't get that sensitive information. Um, but yeah, like at the end of the day, there's always going to be communication between the peak room and the dealer. Yeah. Like that just... wasn't how way it was when I did it for WPT. I couldn't. I I could. I could. I couldn't. Uh, I could only get. I could only hear them. Mm -hmm. they, I couldn't uh, uh, communicate to them. Was anybody in your room able to communicate to them? No. Then how would they know if a card didn't read? Um, they can, they, because they can see, um, they can see if it didn't read. I don't know. No. Well, because if you're looking at the screen, you'd see that it didn't it's read. It's on a 30 minute delay though, bro. Right. Wait, what? So like if, uh, like, on, like Andre was in the other room, but, and he couldn't see, he had no real-time information. Right. Right? And then what he could do was, but he could, he was watching the stream, so he could see. But the stream's 30-minute oh, right. delay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, mm. it has to come from the graphics operator. Yeah, I don't the know. The way the software's set up is you know if cards are red or not, so it should be two-way communication, mm -hmm. and you, you should be separate from the peak room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's generally the, right. the protocol to okay. follow. Yeah. Um, but in, in any event, like, uh, this is on Kings, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's just abundantly clear he should be paid his ICM. And honestly, like, I would take legal action. Because what they're saying is just a clear cover-up for their own fuck-up. Yeah. Like, it's provable that this person had to, uh, to, to make the conscious decision to eliminate this person from the event yep. before the next hand started. And I think that that's probably... Uh, who knows if they would win, especially, you know, given that it's in... Middle of nowhere, Eastern Europe, but maybe he wins a gold ring, Matt. Maybe he gets maybe eliminated, eliminated the, the next, next hand. hand. Who fucking knows? <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck knows? Like, Jesus, did you see this further statement, by the way, from him? There's a further one. No, yeah. don't do that. No. So he, he doubled down. Delete it. So, so <laughs> delete it now. This is Twitter. Goal. This is tw Twitter. He said, I ordered the restart of the stream as soon as I was informed about the situation in order to take time to review and investigate the situation. It was not my intention to erase evidence of the mistake, but rather to take the time to review and understand the situation before making a statement. 
After so I finish, cover your ass. <laughs> <laughs> After I finished reviewing the situation and writing my statement, I posted the evidence of the mistake along with my stream. It was not my intention to aggressively time out people in the live stream chat who were asking legitimate questions about the mistake. If this happened, it was likely an oversight and I apologize for any confusion or frustration this may have caused. I understand the importance of transparency and open communication in situations like this. I will work to ensure that any concerns or questions are addressed in a timely and respectful manner in the future. If you wanted transparency, you would have told everybody that somebody in the control room had to push that button. Yeah, I, I, well, <laughs> that's the thing is like, I think, I think they're just leaning on the fact that we don't understand how the tech works. Yeah. Right. Right. But we, oh, general, sure, a, lot of, a lot of people don't. Yeah, the general public doesn't. Right. But like, in this particular instance, uh, all of those fancy words are a, a nice way to try to cover your ass, but like the jig is up, man. Yep. Uh, somebody made the conscious decision to eliminate this man from the, the, the tournament mm -hmm. and do so in order to keep the, the hands going. So right. they had the opportunity to just stop and fix it. Right. And someone made the call not to. Yeah. Could have literally that man. Who ordered the code red? <laughs> yeah. Code red, code red. That Great man's movie. day would have Great been movie. fucking. Great movie. He'd been so happy walking out. Somebody, a security guard, just run, runs over to grab him. Hey, man, you're still in the tournament. Right. Oh, great. Oh my God, how did this happen? And oh, then he the great. The next hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he wins a gold ring. You just never know. You need me on that wall. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, that's fucked, man. Me on that wall. I feel bad for this guy. I hope he sues their ass. Uh, yeah. uh, honestly, like, be tough, but yeah, it's probably, yeah, I, I don't know, man, uh, go, th this kind of ties into what I was saying about, uh, things needing to be stress tested as well. Yeah. Like how critical is it to have an entity out there, a third party entity that has no skin in the game, that's able to point out these issues after the fact, whenever, uh, you know, people were being taken advantage of, like, imagine that we didn't know anything about this live stream. Imagine we didn't like. Uh, imagine we didn't offer any sort of mouthpiece to this, right? Yeah. Right. It just kind of gets swept under like, yeah, mm -hmm. once the next hand starts, what can you do? We're not going to back that up. And we would just kind of be going back and forth saying like, well, that's kind of a shitty rule in this instance because like they could technically back it up. They have the graphics on screen. They know exactly what the stacks could be. I don't yep. care if they played 30 hands thereafter. Like, yeah, it sucks for everybody mm -hmm. to have to back those results up, but fucking back them up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and injustice was done. However, in this instance, like we know more and this will be true in... uh a lot of cases where uh there is going to be people who are capable of understanding how protocols work understanding how the technology works understanding where the fuck ups come from where the errors are mm. and putting apply or applying pressure to correct that right so imagine a third party entity in this in this space that served as a white hat hacker that served as uh some level of security protocols for these streams yeah what i'm what i'm effectively saying is imagine something like nevada gaming but in the poker space collectively rather than in the individual mm -hmm. states or right. territories yeah, yeah. that things are so set just, up just basically the integrity the council poker. honestly right. like if the integrity council was able to umbrella like to a bunch of different like aspects of the game all of them like in general like looking at overseeing some the like, casino thing streams and like players kind of kind like, of like a players association yeah well, yeah, well, the problem is that's the problem with the Integrity Council right now. It's okay. only players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It needs to have representation from people who are sharp beyond, like, what we're looking for. Right. Some, uh, like, get some TDs in there. Get some, like... I don't even know that TDs are, are the right... I mean, we, I think you just have opinions of all. Like, it should have, like, a... Yeah, no, 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 don't get me wrong. Like, there should be representation from yeah. TDs. But that, the, all of that stuff is the, the lowest hanging fruit and the most unimportant. Right. Yeah. It's 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 getting people who are good with cybersecurity that are capable of coming in and uh, stress testing the security protocols of GG, of stars, of party poker, of WSOP, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Mm -hmm. It's getting people who are sharp on the production side of things who are able to come in and say, like, oh, uh, it's very clear that they made a conscious choice to move on to this next hand. Uh, again, like people on the cybersecurity side where it's just like uh, this is exactly the way the protocol should be set up if you want to run a live stream. And if you don't abide by it, then you should be immediately dubbed an unsecure stream for the public to know, yeah. right? Like this third party should exist and it should be accredited or it should be lending accreditation to anybody who utilizes its service, mm -hmm. right? When the Hustler thing went down, 
kudos to them to doing uh, their due diligence and getting a team in there to, but like it was so long after the fact that something as simple, we spoke about this whenever the report was le released, but something as simple as the cards being marked would never ever be found out. Right. It was weeks after the fact. Those yeah. cards have been, you know, first of all, they went through the hands of uh, people running their own investigation. So that's already a problem in and of itself. There's no protocol for it. The casino doesn't have any oversight, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but in, in to, to the larger degree, and kudos to Hustler for getting this mostly right, there were no protocols in place for how to handle a situation like this. There was, that's why they had to go out and hire a team yeah. to come in and say, like, where am I vulnerable and how can I fix this? Now, that should have been, you can make the argument that that should be the minimum requirement to even starting a fucking stream. Mm -hmm. But, you know, nobody's holding their feet to the fire. And there's a lot of money in the streets if you just want to fire up a few cameras and get a lot of, like, high-profile people. Very easy to people. just start, start a stream if you want to. Right. For sure. Yeah. So I would love to see, I mean, you know, we were talking to Victoria about this, about the evolution of technology in our space. Uh, I think that there are so many corners where other industries do it better and we can either mimic or uh, borrow from them mm. to sure up our four walls. Uh, and there's a lot of opportunity there. You know, more and more people are sitting here developing training tools, training sites, coaching, because it's what we know. But almost all of us have a background in something else. Right. And the fact of the matter is cybersecurity is a massive need in this space. Uh, production and stream security is a massive need in this space. Uh, player oversight, ensuring that we're not being taken advantage of when it comes to rake, when it comes to um, these entities doing right by us. Even things as simple as, uh, you know, s somehow policing the length of days uh, and ensuring that like we're not playing for six and seven figures on the back end of a 16 hour day at four o'clock in the morning just because they want us right to. just because shout out WSOP <laughs> <laughs> um, and honestly like huge shout out to stars so far for this PCA I played the main and what a fantastic structure it's mimicking the Matt Savage structure where day one is our levels you play eight levels bag you're uh, done at 830 you're, yeah you're done by eight well nine o'clock with breaks yeah uh, so 9 p.m. you're out the door. Mm. Day two, 90 minute levels, same thing. You play five levels, you're out the door by like 9:15, uh, and it carries through. For it, they make it a five day event instead of a four. Right? This setup, you know? everything here, how it's ran, how every we have been so fucking like uh, spoiled recently. Mm -hmm. Between like the win, this oh the win was so great. Yo, we have been so spoiled. It makes me so happy because it puts so much pressure on the WSOP to up their game. Right, Yo, exactly. Dude, do you see this mm -hmm. um Poker Stars live app they have? Yeah, it's great. It is absolutely amazing. It literally has everything on it. It has your table, the people at your table, they it do, has the chip counts every break. People don't know. They do they do everything digitally here. So uh you don't even get a seat card whenever your table breaks. Yeah. They literally walk up to you and they go, table X seat Y. And you're already digitally in the database. So you sit down. So awesome. You sit down, and the dealer mm -hmm. goes, Matthew? Right. And you go, yeah. It, you never get the, you never, you never have the incredible. human error of like, you know, throwing mm, yep. a seat card, right. the dealer Wrong taking play. a quick look at it. Every, it happened yeah. in the last World Series. Every yeah. dealer has an iPad happen, on yeah. the table. Yeah. Like it is mm -hmm. so, this thing has been so smooth. This man. is something that I've been, I've been uh, begging WSOP to do for years that uh, people who are affiliated with Poker Atlas had done a long time ago. But get us to the point where we have this all in one, yeah. where it, you know, uh, uh, I was talking to to Jack, I guess, two or three, right before the pandemic, I think, so maybe three years ago, mm -hmm. about the the payout line for these massive fields, right? Right. Uh, so <laughs> you cash the millionaire maker, and it's like fifteen hundred people are cashing, yep. right? And like you know, two hundred of them are busting mm -hmm. instantly. Mm -hmm. I was like, why don't we automate this somehow, to where you know you just you credit their player's card. Right, just get it credited at the table so that you have a swiping system. Figure out a way to do it with Bravo, or whatever. They did find a, a another workaround which I think has facilitated very well and works. It was a, a, another suggestion of mine, which is you just flatten like the bottom uh, five percent of payout. So if you're paying out fifteen percent of the field, fifteen percent to ten percent, same pay. Right. That way you don't have to worry about like hey, jumps ensuring and, yes. that you get the the proper ticket mm -hmm. and all this other human error stuff. Yeah, because people bust so well, like that's that's not th that's. Might not help the lines, but that's going to help the, the pace of the game. Because they have to slow down. What helps the lines? Because you don't have to, you, you don't necessarily have to wait. You don't right. have to wait. Yeah. You can go but, anytime you want. Right. right. But a lot of times, they'll, like, people are busting so quick 
that they have to slow the pace of the game down so they Correct. know where the pay jump is. Right. Because like, there's all these little small pay jumps every so right. often. It lengthens days, yeah. uh, it re results in paused clocks mm -hmm. and all this other nonsense. That's the, that's, it'd be great for the, the bounties, like the mystery yeah, bounties. But it's, like. it's, it's, you know, to your point, uh, it's stars setting a precedent. Yep. And exactly. hopefully more uh, mm -hmm. will, will follow. And, you know, it's a money issue. At the end of the day, it comes down to the bottom line. All of it is. You just have to be willing to spend. Right. To get this app developed and automate everything with same but, thing goes with the cybersecurity and all yeah. these things that but you that make you it all back. You make, make it all back. Dollars, you make it. The thing yeah. is, you make it all back because you don't investment. have to. You don't have to employ so many. Uh, I don't want to say meaningless workers, but like basically, you can get tech to replace workers in a lot of instances, and then now you're not short staffed for all the other positions that you need and then right. next year when everybody knows that your event has been absolutely ran the best it could be yeah. you're gonna get more entries yeah, 10%. especially Which you in get this more industry like, and right. it's like you're just growing the mouth. game yeah. like if you're, you're gonna just have got... a podcast like us just telling you how great it is you know get out here <laughs> getting it popping you know? man you know. get the word out to the people if you run a good event we will let the people know and we will come yes i think it's very clear podcast. as well like the the feedback like as poker players our community loves to complain yeah absolutely. and this is like this alongside the wpt that just happened in vegas and triton seem to be like the the three events where on twitter 99.9 percent .9 of the feedback is positive it's and amazing. like the fact that you've got the entire poker community like the all praising ingredients yeah the tournament yeah, directors praising happens. the floor praising the dealers praising the venue mm -hmm. and whatnot you know they're doing something right. right and i think it's very clear to me in my mind which companies actually care about the players yeah. mm -hmm. and their image and mm -hmm. you know they really want to help grow the game and bring more players and it's clear who just cares about their bottom line yeah so i think hopefully you know uh the players will keep being loyal to the companies like poker stars like right. try and like I wpt mean, you see these turn out this turn out yeah man you see I the mean, wpt turn out exactly it, it, it's they're wow. there it does pay off mm -hmm. the people are, yo do you guys know this is the first time i got dealt to like this it was yet today? Yeah, yesterday? it's European. It's so cool. It's European style. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk, talking of European, I feel like uh, Merit's quickly becoming that kind of stronghold in Europe as well. I'd, lo I'd love for you guys to go there and experience it as what well. What type as of events are in Merit? They, it... they've, they've got like the, the, they have this series where they have like a 3K main. It's typically like 400 for first. They have okay. a 2K warm up where it's typically 200K for first. All right, but... so you know, how about this? You talk to your people in Merit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna talk to my people here. Okay. And you know, we might be able to do a little Maybe traveling a little podcast yeah. there. You know, we can figure okay. something out. We're going overseas. That's okay. way no. too far. Yo, no, it's relax. Not. I got shit. Up, I'm doing shit. No, it's an island in the Mediterranean. It Come sounds on, great. so far though. It's amazing. Bye, Berkey. amazing. It's amazing. Me man. and Tortua are going. I'm going. <laughs> I'm there. I'm, I'm going to swim there. <laughs> Get started. You'll be there by 2024. <laughs> You'll do great, kid. Uh, <laughs> He'll do great, kid. <laughs> He's going to do great. Uh, Want to give uh, a huge shout out to uh, Gabe Kaplan, who decided to call it quits as mm -hmm. the new season of High Stakes Poker is being released. Uh, he said this is going to be the final season. So I think the new, uh, the, the new season was released yesterday, I believe, on Poker Go. Uh, we can see friend of the show, Emma, Emma Za out there slanging it. Um, so I think Gabe is, is uh, doing commentary for this one, and it's the final season. A lot of, lot of talk out there on Twitter of who should replace him. Uh, is it, Conrad, is it not known already who the person is? Uh, not known do to you me. you know? Yeah, I do. Are you about to? Wow. Yeah. Are you oh, allowed shit. to say? No, I'm, I definitely oh. not. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you can't tease no, people like that. I thought like it was that? public knowledge, and I, I saw people like tagging like different people we were speaking about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, I was like, shit." You know so what happened here? You, Henry got he got stumped. Henry mm. got stumped for the gig. So it's not like, Henry. Yeah. No, it's saying. not it's, Henry. He's, well, he's salty firstly, right now. Firstly, yeah, I don't deserve that spot. And he's secondly, salty. I, I wouldn't don't take it. Don't sell yourself short, man. It's not nothing to do with setting myself short. Like I know what I've earned and what I haven't, and yeah, yeah. and filling in the shoes of Gabe just uh, isn't okay, my spot. Okay, so course, what, what you just said field, is that sure. Shulman has got the spot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for literally clearing that up for me. Like. Why don't Easily. you just give us the initials and we'll have the have an audience go ahead and guess in the comments. Is is AJ gonna retain? Yes. His position? Yeah. Okay. So 
Okay, so he's going to kind of... I mean, the thing is, they were very... Oh, am I allowed to say this shit? Yeah, AJ's going to be there, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that seems like you're probably fine there. But uh, so they kind of maintain the, like, not Lana Norm chatter where it's not really clear. Like, with Gabe and AJ, it was, it was kind of like a, a two-headed monster where they were both kind of, like, setting each other up for the punchline, right? I'm sorry, I can't help myself. What? Jeff goes... Jeff Platt. Yeah, Maury's <laughs> gonna, Maury, gonna go on, come on stage and hit Henry with the steel chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All so, right, Peter. Henry. Okay, so it's not Jeff Platt. <laughs> wow. wow. Hey, you don't know. You don't know. Nobody. Yeah, you better be nice to Jeff. Yeah. Why? JP. He, how are you gonna get on Raya? It's too late. Man. How are you gonna get a date uh, with his sister? It's been too. Wow. Well, look, oh, look, his sister. Now that's a different story. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. A minute. She's way out of your hang line. Here, if he wants to take me to a couple family reunions, now we're. We're talking about a totally Wait, different Thanksgiving thing. at JP's house. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not even American. I'll come to Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, I'm bullshit a little bit. <laughs> Jeff said, back yeah. to high stake poker talk, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it'll be it'll be tough tough shoes to fill for sure. Gabe was very much a staple. I was talking to Henry about this last night. There's uh, a certain collective that I just think like crush it when it comes to the produced content game. And I do think that it's very clear and critical that we start to separate separ separate <laughs> uh, the commentators who do the production side versus the commentators who do the live stream yes. side. It's a totally different skill set. And mm -hmm. uh, like the Gabe, AJ dynamic, the Lawn Norm dynamic, uh, James Hardy. Hardigan? Hardigan, yeah. James I was going to say, James Hardy, what, he left the court? <laughs> <laughs> James Hardigan and Stapes. I, I think these duos do a remarkable job when it comes to produce content. Mm. Uh, always enjoyable to watch. For sure. They're basically covering highlight reels, so it's much more of a sports center type of, of coverage with, you know, maybe a little comedy interjected here and there. Uh, they're classically trained, too, for mm -hmm. the most part. Yeah. I, I don't know James's background, but I know with Lon and Norm, uh, and obviously Gabe being an actor, uh, they're, they're relatively trained when it comes to the, the production side of things, to the um, commentary side of things. It's a difficult <laughs> role to play, right? When we look at the live streaming side and we look at the Ollies and the, and the Knicks uh, of the world, it's so different, man. You're just vamping Dude. 12 hours at a time. 12 hours if you're lucky. Right. <laughs> like, Who do you think missed their flight to the Bahamas? Oh, man, man this awesome. takes one guess. <laughs> <laughs> one guess but go, going back to what you're saying like i i honestly i I, f I feel really bad sometimes for for people that just get thrown in the deep end with live streams because talking for 12 hours it, it looks easy because you talk sure. about poker it's not sure and the the post-production stuff the voiceover stuff uh is truly the work of professionals like they're in there retaking shots 10 15 times over to get it perfectly um and I, I i only just did it for the first time last week with ali and i, I tip my hat to these guys because yeah. that mm -hmm. shit ain't easy right. no for sure no for um, sure not and it they make it look easy it, right? and it definitely yeah. takes different skill sets mm -hmm. like like because to like to find the energy on shot 10 after you've already fucked up nine times in a row yeah. to like still try and come across and be on like, and yeah it's, like it's yeah excited tough. at a turn card mm -hmm. or professional and whatnot yeah um and yeah and, and I, I i i don't think um I don't think just anyone should be thrown into a 12 hour live stream as well because you have to understand Twitch culture, internet culture, YouTube mm -hmm. comments. Like, you can't have thin skin where you're getting offended, like, oh, what the fuck's Henry talking about? Or I mean, even, you know. even uh, I, I think another problem that happens is oftentimes commentators, uh, when they're first thrust into that, they don't understand the job at, at hand and they interact too much with the chat. Yes. And what I mean by that is they start to acknowledge how toxic the chat can be at times, yeah. and they lean too heavily into it, where it now just becomes like this battle back and forth between the commentator and the chat, and now they become the show yeah. instead of the actual mm -hmm. play at hand. Yeah. It's, it's a massive tightrope for people to walk, mm. and we get some glorious moments, like the shut the fuck up, Ali <laughs> moment. <laughs> It'll go down in uh -huh. poker history. But also, I was saying this to Henry last night, like we got a long way to go whenever one of the most iconic moments that I can remember in poker streaming history is uh, like our, our world-renowned broadcaster that we all put on a pedestal telling his co-commentator to shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. um speaking about co-commentators um shut the fuck up conrad how did you how did you leave um 
Jeff and Hanks off the I list. I love Jeff and Hanks. I, I, you I, just, off the I list. just stopped at Nick and Ali because I didn't want to go down and start listing six people and then stop Henry somewhere Kilbane. and then have yeah. to have fucking Kilbane. who knows. Would Kilbane. you have listed Kilbane though? No, yeah, I would have listed Kilbane. Oh, okay, that's making sure. Henry. Uh, <laughs> the, last, the last time I started to, to run through people that I thought were good at commentary, I stopped short and fucking everybody at Hustler wanted to behead me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. Um, I, I love this I, shit. I, I, I think we should start like. I, I really, in a dream world, I would love to take some 21, 22 year old kid under my wing who just like loves poker. But the thing is, I, I don't think you can do both. I don't think you can be a world class poker player and be a world class analyst I gotta or tell commentator. You, having heard some of your hand histories, I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> Hey, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you bro. Shout out to the super chat. Uh, FTWNF <laughs> says, Henry more. is a very, very nice addition to the show. Really hope this is permanent. Yeah, when you, we bro. do get him on, the op when do we get him on the opening credits? And they said, Shulman Gabe 100 for Gabe 1000%. Every hand history Berkey's ever told you is like, well, I'm just at top of range here on the river. <laughs> You it's can take for that. It's 2E, so I click call, and obviously he just has Ace King, <laughs> so you know. You can thank Landon for that, man. That he ruined me. Fucking hell, man. Fuck, I used to fold. It's like, I, have I, you the ever found the fold folded. button? No, the thing is, I never folded. That's, That's the, the problem. problem. Queens are indifferent in this turn spot, so you <laughs> just, know. Just put, listen, Henry, just play your game and just keep, I was telling keep breaking Hunt. in pots. I, I was telling Hunt, I lost, I lost a lot of chips in zero EV spots this trip. <laughs> Oh, right. A lot of trips. Uh, huge shout out to Marley. Happy belated birthday. I saw her floating around in the chat. Uh, we Happy missed birthday, it last Marley. week. Marley. Talking about birthdays. Uh, relax, bro. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Oh, we, we, also, we also have... Mm -hmm. uh, Someone's turning 50. Someone's Is it 52? Mm -hmm. Okay, relax. Uh, we also have a Poker Out Loud Academy. Uh, March 20th to the 23rd. Is that correct? March 20th to the 25th. Third. Okay, yeah, so March 20th to the 23rd, seats are going fast. If you guys haven't already, head over to, to academy.solveforwide.io. Check that out if you're interested at all in uh, both playing Poker Out Loud and learning some strategy construction from the ground up. Uh, we are actually going to come to you guys every day from now moving forward, so no weekends off. Wait, what? We've oh, had, yeah, we do weekends, had, we've I chartered a boat on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, bro. You do you, man. We got six of us. Yeah. Wait, what boat are we going on, on Saturday? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be playing poker, so... Happy birthday I'll be here. to you. Birthday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Uh, oh, that's why we're doing podcasts right. every day. You we, want to do one on your birthday? You got to yeah, do one on his that's birthday. That's exactly why. <laughs> uh, we'll be back at this time every day from now until the 3rd. We'll be joined by Sarah Herring uh, for most of yeah. next Next week, awesome. we also are going to have some guests in the house. Uh, once she gets into town, she's going to wrangle up a few people who want to come shoot the shit with us on here. So thank you guys so much. We will be here 10 a.m. every day, East Coast, 7 a.m. Pacific. And for that, we're out of here. We Peace. out. Peace.